So the first time that I told Kayleen that we were going to create a YouTube channel for real estate agents, <laughs> she freaked out. She looked at me like Wait. I was crazy. It's pretty we have scary enough going to make on. that why first would we do step. That? <laughs> so we're going to tell you today why you should make your real estate channel. And it's not as scary as you think. I know it is. It sounds scary, but stay it's... tuned. We're going to show you why it's not so scary. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kayleen and Lori here with The Finest Agents. So we love helping other agents become one of our finest agents throughout the finest. entire country. Uh, Lori and I make these YouTube videos um, to try to help you and you know it's all things that we have tried ourselves. We've listened to people in our organization and really fine-tuned how video marketing has worked for us, especially on the YouTube platform. If you have any questions or you would like to talk more about becoming one of our finest agents, let us know and our phone number is 719-639-3393. Um, make sure also we put videos out every Tuesday and Thursday. So hit that subscribe button or that bell and you'll be notified when it, we drop a new video. All right, guys, so today we're talking to you about why creating a YouTube channel as a woman is so scary. And I think it, I think those first steps are really scary. I think it's like, well, is this what I really wanna do? Is this, can I do this? I think as far as me, I told my kids I was making a YouTube channel. They kind of laughed at me. They were like, you mom making a YouTube You're on channel? YouTube? Come on, That's mom. like what kids wanna be when yeah. they grow up. They're like, are you gonna make slime? I was like, nope. Are you gonna do like <laughs> pranks? I was like, nope. They're like, what are you? And I remember right, the first time we posted a video, they were like commenting and liking it. And they're like, we made our kids do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I do, I do think the first time that you decide and you like commit to yourself that you're going to do a YouTube channel, I just think it's kind of intimidating because I think of YouTube as being like YouTube huge influencers. Like who has a, it's like, to me it also kind of seems kind of brazen. Like Anytime. I know enough to make a YouTube channel. Like I can do and make a YouTube channel. I don't know. It just seemed kind of silly to me at first. Yeah. And scary. I remember when she said, let's do YouTube. Her. I was like, I think it was over Christmas. Was are about you a year sure? Ago. I was, I, you know, I listened to her. I trust her. And I was like, we're already doing this and this and th like what? And to me, what was scary was the commitment because when, you know, she had done all this research and you know, the science behind it. And we knew that we had to put out a lot of videos and we had to stay consistent. I think that was the scariest part. I was no, like, we can, for a whole and year, a year, we're going to be doing two videos a week. And now you want to do how many channels? I was like, ah, yeah. It's but you know what we were, I think we were lucky our first channel. It was in the right market um, size that we did see um, results right away. We have a couple other channels and they've taken a little bit longer to take off, but the key to it is to be consistent. And I think that's probably one of the scary parts. Like <laughs> Lori and I always laugh even, uh, you know, with uh, clients when they're shopping for homes and it's kind of like a, a silent joke, I guess. We're like, are they sure they want to commit? Are we sure <laughs> we want to commit? Yeah. Like we're, you know, with it, I, I guess we just know and we're very driven that if we commit to something, we're all in. Yeah. So, and I think you almost also, have to have that mindset. I yeah, think. you do. You have to say, because I think the first time you do it, you're, I think part of the scary pieces are is like you post it and then like you get like one view or mm -hmm. two views and you're Maybe. like, I give up. I'm done. I can't do kids. it. Yeah. It was my kids at first. <laughs> They're like, great channel. Can't wait to move to Colorado. <laughs> that was part like, of their homework. Here with me. Yeah. <laughs> but I just think it's scary to like post it and then watch your analytics and like, how do you watch your analytics? And like you have, you watch all these other YouTube mm -hmm. channels and they're doing so well. How do you eventually compete with them? Or how do you think that you have the confidence and the wherewithal to like become that channel? And I think that takes a confident piece if you watch some of our other videos, but it is scary to post that first video and to learn how to tag it and learn how to like title it. And you know, to say, I am gonna learn this. I am gonna figure well, this out. Well, and one thing that was intimidating to me is there are so many different apps and ways of doing video and 
you know, there's, you know, to get this in product that you're watching, you can go about it a million different ways. You can use a million different uh, venues online and ways to do it. And I think you almost have to just, you know, if you like the style somebody is doing and, you know, it reaches you, ask them questions like the people on the other side of the cameras are doing it, you know, in all sorts of different ways. And so if you like what they're doing, ask them if they're willing to share. And if they're willing to share, ask them about, you know, what apps they're using. How are you filming? What kind of equipment do you use um, for editing? What's your process? And I think that you can learn and take the bits and pieces of different things. Lori just showed me a new channel today and I was like, I really like that it's a whole different style mm -hmm. of video. In fact, we're gonna be trying it in the new year, but we know it takes some prep and some organizing to, you know, we, we want it to look good when it comes out. And so that process, even though those will be like January, 2022 videos, the process starts now on doing the research. It's not just an instant, you know, all right, we're going to do this because even with the YouTube channel, what Lori came with was, Hey, because I had all these ideas. Let's go around, let's interview restaurants, let's do this, let's do that. And the reality is, is there is a science behind the videos. And like Lori talks about reviewing the analytics and coming up with your um, titles and even those thumbnails, it's very science driven why they work. Yeah, and I think it's also scary to think about, we talked about this in one of the other, other things about being confident on video, but seeing yourself on video the first time is super scary. Yeah. You're, you're so judgmental on yourself. Like, am I young enough? Am I pretty enough? Am I skinny enough? There's always like that younger person out there doing it and you're like, oh, what am I? I That's I, our I goals for this that. next year too. To go to <laughs> we the have gym. big goals. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to get liposuction. We're going to do it all. But, <laughs> we but got big goals. We got big goals for next year. But no, I'm just, mm -hmm. I did. It's hard to get the confidence is push play. Like pushing that play button and then watching it back and not hitting the delete button, I think. And I will say to be successful, it takes a huge commitment and it's easy to do it at the beginning. It's just like when you're on a new diet or you're starting a new workout routine or whatever. <laughs> That's how we do our diets. It's, it's good for the first couple weeks. And then it's like, when you want to fall off the bandwagon, you got to know or have I'm somebody to, to hold diet. you. Yeah, I'm trying to, I got all <laughs> sorts of flavors in here. I have some grape. What's for dinner? Grapes, but, grape gum, <laughs> strawberry, watermelon. But it takes like when you want to not film and you know you have to get it out there or it'll kill the analytics to your channel, you have to have somebody that's gonna push you a little. And that's what I, I know Lori and I say, we're here to hold you accountable. And that's kind of where that piece comes in. Um, some people may not completely understand that, but it's so important to stay consistent. And if you need somebody to hold you accountable, we can be that person for you. Yeah, I, I mean, I just, my, our challenge to you is to one is to, you know, just take that leap, know if this is video. And I think the thing about video and making that YouTube channel is you can use it in so many different aspects of your real estate business. Mm -hmm. And so like we talked about maybe putting video on our, on our website and having all of our agents introduce themselves and saying, here's my specialty. Here's what I like to do. Take your video and put it onto HomeBot and send out a video and post I, it all over Instagram. I mean, if you watch any of other videos or know us, you know that we believe in video. We believe in the power of people seeing you live and I always say and I someone said this to once too is like well you're gonna go to a listing presentation you're live there you're talking you just don't like see it but you're live I mean it's like mm -hmm. they get us there that you are who you are and so I just think it is important to you to do the video be confident creating that YouTube channel but know you can take that skill and use it so people know who you are in your real estate business no matter where you go we've walked I've walked into the brewery with my husband and they're like you're that youtube lady or every time we you go to a now. listing page a listing page a listing appointment you mm -hmm. know they'll be like i think I, I i know i know you but i don't know if i know you like they, uh -huh. they're like i know i've seen you all over but you know until you well, get that I, and I one of the helps. girls on our team one of our uh buyer specialists we went to a listing appointment this weekend and they said that girl that you know, started, they didn't even understand she was new to our team. They said, oh, she used to, her daughter went to school with my son. And what it is, is it's connecting us um, before we're even in front of them. They think they, you know, they did. They already had a connection with somebody on our team. And anytime you can put that personal connection and then show the value of the services that you provide and show 
what you can offer them as a client. Like we're, at the end of it, we're customer service to any of our clients. And so anything to make that personal connection is key to getting your foot in the door. Yeah. So is creating a YouTube channel scary? Absolutely. But I think of the reward, if you're going to commit to it, you're going to do it. We'd love to have you come join us. We'd love to we'll help you do that. But I mean, we just ran our numbers this morning and, you know, we did like 13 transactions our first year. We did 30, you know, we're almost going to hit our hundred home sale and we each will bring home $300,000 in commission just by the power of video and the power of committing to creating that YouTube channel. Well, and we and went sticking with it. We went to um, a sprint event and there were different agents, you know, everybody has their own thing. And the amount of overhead when you're buying leads is crazy. Like you have to close a lot of real estate. Dollars. That's ridiculous. Don't well, that. and that's the thing, like bottom line is, is our marketing and our overhead is so much cheaper than anybody else's other real estate business. And we close, if not as many deals as their eight person team with only two of us. Um, it was before we grew, but we were doing the same numbers and there was only two of us. And it was just, we put systems in place to be able to accommodate and leverage our time so that we could, you know, be the best that we could be for all of our clients and we had like literally zero overhead. Yeah. And I think as a new agent who has the money to spend a, a ton of money on lead generation and overhead, mm -hmm. like a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. I would, money we, I would never have had that when we first started. So the way that we found to do the lead generation through creating that YouTube channel, you know, has just changed our business because we do it for free. So it's amazing. So is creating a YouTube channel scary? Absolutely. It's super scary. Um, but as confident women, you can do it. We know you can. Um, if you have any questions, reach out. We'd love to help you create that YouTube channel. We'd love to help you um, catapult your real estate career and kick ass as women in real estate. So reach out 719-639-3393.